Decal Machine 1.9, supports Blender 2.80. Older Blender releases are no longer supported, meaning Decal Machine for Blender 2.79 is no longer being developed and updated. To install Decal Machine, bring up Blender's preferences. Make sure you are in the Add-ons tab, and choose, Install. Navigate to the location of your Decal Machine 1.9 zip file, select it, and confirm by pressing the Install Add-on from File button. Activate the add-on by ticking the checkbox. Then unfold Decal Machine's preferences, to reveal settings and default keymappings. Check out the video on preferences for details. If you want to convert legacy decal libraries from Decal Machine 1.4.2, or if you intend to create your own decals, or if you want to export decal assets, you need to install PIL as well. PIL is a Python module for image manipulation. So to install it, switch to the Decal Creation tab and ensure you have an active internet connection. Always try installing PIL with the first button. The other two are fallback methods, requiring admin privileges, or at least write access to the Blender folder. Installation should take a few seconds. You can follow along in the terminal if you want. If it was successful, a green checkmark will appear. You can also remove PIL again via the small arrow button to the right, but there's really no reason for it, once the green checkmark confirms the installation succeeded. You may also be asked to restart Blender. If, after restarting, the checkmark has not appeared, read the text below and try the other installation methods. Change the creator line, and do it right now, so decals created by you, will be tagged with your info. You won't be able to easily change this later, on already created decals. Blender saves preferences automatically as a version 2.80. If you have disabled this, you should manually save the preferences now, using the button at the bottom left. The next tab, displays a number of resources and links. You can see my other add-ons, decal machine documentation, YouTube and FAQ, as well as the get support button. If you want to report an error or have any other issue with decal machine, this is how you need to reach out to me. Pressing this button will open a folder with log files, and further instructions. I've also linked the Blender artists and polycount threads for decal machine, where you can go for discussion, but please not to report errors. Furthermore, if you want to follow my work, Twitter is the best place for it. But again, don't report errors via Twitter either. To the right, are a few add-on recommendations. This is what I use, and they are the add-ons I try to be as compatible as possible with. Batch Ops and Group Pro for scene management and organization, as well as Hard Ops and Box Cutter for Boolean and Bevel-based modeling. Finally, there are some third-party decal libraries and resources you might want to take a look at. With batch creation of decals from folders of images, decal packs don't even have to support decal machine anymore, for them to be easily added to your libraries. Remember how I said, that if you need help, you should use this button? There is an alternative, more accessible way to do the same. Close the preferences and bring up the sidebar by pressing the N key and the 3D view. Switch to the machine tab and look for the help panel at the bottom. Here you will find the same support button, among other things. And you can learn more about the other panels shown above, in the dedicated panels videos. To conclude the installation and confirm everything is in order, press the D key in the 3D view, which should bring up the Decal Machine Pi menu. Check out the Pi menu video for more information. You can open the Decal Machine documentation, from the Help panel. It's available online and locally as well. Below are links to frequently asked questions, and a YouTube playlist of all current Decal Machine feature videos. Finally, you can open the Decal example files and study and play around with them. If this file looks different for you, than it does for me here. For instance, if the decals don't display correctly, you should definitely get in touch. There's also this decal creation example file, showcasing how objects should look, if you want to create your own decals. You can open a simple example scene for baking of decals, using the decal export button. And last but not least, you can load an example asset with some more complexity. And for good measure, a final reminder to use this button to request support. Don't send me an error on Twitter, don't do it on YouTube either. Do it via email and send me the files I need to help you with your first mail. Just press the request support button in the help panel, and follow the instructions in the readme.html file.